Welcome to Ordinary Days, where life with God is anything but ordinary. I'm Denise Larson Cooper. Each 4th of July, gymnasts arrive for the morning workouts adorned with festive red, white, and blue attire. Some wear crazy hats. Others have stars in their hair, and a few wear leotards lettered with USA. On some mornings, athletes graciously bring treats, including strawberries dipped in white chocolate with blue sprinkles. For my part, I wore a black shirt and shorts. One gymnast asked me why I didn't wear the traditional red, white, and blue. I told her that I was the night sky waiting for the fireworks. She appreciated the humor. Tonight, people are going to gather with friends, family, and strangers under a night sky and wait for fireworks to illuminate the darkness. When the fireworks begin, brilliant bursts of color will transform the darkness as the sky comes alive with light. Two thousand years ago, God transformed spiritual darkness by sending his light, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. The radiance of God's glory burst into the world, transforming the darkness of sin into the day of salvation. This is why David could rejoice. The Lord is the light and my salvation. Our Savior pierced the dark night of sin and death with the light of life from the cross. And His majesty and greatness will split the sky once more during His triumphant return. His arrival will shatter the darkness, and we will bask in the everlasting light of God. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you that the darkness of sin and death has been vanquished by Jesus Christ, the light of the world. Amen. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.